All right, I wanted to join back in and bring this one back up. Uh, there was some questions, and I just wanted to clarify that here we are with the lead-based paint form, uh, but in this particular case that you will notice that this is the, the one for the buyer and the seller, all right? So the last one that I showed you was the landlord and tenant, uh, but if you'll notice, you still have A1, the situation of where the uh, known lead-based paint hazards or no knowledge and the B still has here are the records and no reports. So it's still virtually the same concept, just using the different terminology because the lead-based paint form is used for both the buyer and seller or a landlord and tenant if the property is built before 1978. Um, you will see that we mentioned that third section was still was here in the buyer, which is different than in the landlord. Here we have the chance for the uh, seller to allow the buyer to have that 10 day window to search or he can waive it, all right? But if you notice, you still have the initials for the agent here. So this is the form for the buyer and the seller. It's, it's the same form that we used a little bit earlier. I just pulled one out of my uh, personal reference, whereas here I've got one off the internet. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me.